welcome back to the 47 show in today video i'm be showing y'all um like all my supplements basically i'm gonna just be showing y'all like how i stay healthy like my supplements stuff i use on my hair stuff i use on my skin like how i keep my skin clear let me show y'all and yeah some of my vitamins but i'm gonna start it off with i'm gonna start off with something simple i'm gonna try to keep this video under 15 minutes. Alright. Boom. Some almonds. Now nah, this ain't really no supplement. And I don't really like the way almonds taste. But if you eat almonds, almonds good for like your brain. Like hair growth, keeping healthy nails, skin hair nails, like almonds. Or if you got like a, a um slight headache, you choose some eat some almonds. But that was like something simple. Then boom, I got some flax seeds. Flax seeds is good for your digestion. Like if you need like a natural laxative, you trying to cleanse your system out, go sit on the toilet, take some flax seeds. Then I got, oh, hold on, can y'all see that? Hemp seed, hold on, like, stop this. All right, hemp seed protein. All right, hemp seed protein, now. Hemp seed protein, like, plant-based. You got that whey protein, plant, hemp seed protein. Hemp seed protein is, like, plant-based protein. It's, like, better for the earth. And it got, like, good fats, like, omega-3s and stuff. And, um, yeah, whey protein come from animal byproduct. And... I know it causes bloating, and it's just like, yeah, I might do a video on that now that I'm thinking about it, but, um, what's next? Oh, it's a agave. This ain't really no supplement. I just got this to show y'all, like, with the whole, ain't no lip drum. But the whole, uh, agave, all right, with agave, it's like, a natural sweetener because I don't use the honey thing no more because honey look honey is like the way they get it from the bees is just like kind of inhumane so I was like I'm gonna leave honey alone all right so what's next oh since I don't eat meat no more they say vitamin b12 some vegan gummies hold on hold on vitamin b12 some vegan organic gummies uh Support energy re production. No corn syrup. I did, really, my mama told me I had to take this, so I started buying B12. I really wouldn't think about it too much. The sea moss. I done did a, a video kind of on sea moss, but y'all know I make my own sea moss. If you don't, but I make my own sea moss. Sea moss is good for everything anti inflammatory, anti cancer, anti viral. Uh, weight loss, skin, another way my skin like this. I eat sea moss every day. Uh, I should put like a little picture to show y'all like some stuff is good for. I might do that if I take the time. Black sea oil. Black sea oil is kind of close to sea moss, but like black sea oil. Hold on, I got a little. Black sea oil. Black sea oil good for diarrhea. Hold on, let me let me tell y'all. Black sea oil, it's kind of nasty. That's why I'm smiling so hard. Black sea oil, you gonna taste that. Like if you, you gonna taste that. It say take. I think half a teaspoon. How much it say take? Oh, take a teaspoon. A teaspoon full. Twice a day. Or once a day, twice a day, something. I don't, know. I don't really be reading the instructions. I just kind of take it. But black seed oil is good for diarrhea, cancer, diabetes, asthma, skin problems, um, cleaning your colon, uh, cleaning your intestines. You could put black seed. You I didn't know you could put black seed oil like on your skin. Like I never done it that way, but yeah. On your skin, on your hair, 
probably that. What else I got down here? Oh, this is probably my favorite supplement so far. Now, this was a suggested one. Like, I found this. I found out about this. Horitaki. Horitaki powder. What is it say on the back? Yeah, that's true. Alright, so, um, so it's a Hari Taki powder is a bowl cleanser. Anyway, I'm going to just tell y'all what it is. Hari Taki powder is like for your digestion. It's a natural laxity to clean out everything, but it also improves your eyesight for my spiritual, whatever you want to call it, eyesight, your third eye. If you're trying to like decalcify this, some Hari Taki powder, like. For sure, for sure. That, the first day I had took some. Let me think, let me think. The first day I took some, it wasn't all that. Like, I ain't put a whole bunch in there. And I be eating pretty, like, like, just fruits and stuff. If you eating some, some BS, hard and talk, you probably gonna let you know it's gonna, like, it's gonna get that up out of there, like, gotta go, like, yeah. Like, now nah, let me get y'all. Second time I ate hard Taki powder, I ate, what I ate that day? I ate something, something that I don't normally eat, like, something that, I think I had some, yeah, I remember what I had. I had something that I don't normally eat. I took the hard Taki powder, and I accidentally put too much in my smoothie. Because it called for, like, half a teaspoon, I think. I put way more than that. That hard talky powder came through. It was like in my in my system. Like you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Like anything that's not good for your digestion, good for like your insides. Hard talky powder. Like yeah, you gotta get up out of here. Like you gonna feel it. Like it don't, it's not even like a painful type thing. It's just like it just worked like that. Oh, then you got red maca powder. Red maca powder for like physical stamina, like um for men with prostate issues or like building testosterone. Anything else down here building testosterone? I think uh CMO. CMO is good for testosterone too, and uh probably black sea or oh black sea or also a, a like a natural birth control. I forgot to say that, but. Yeah, red maca powder, good for prostate. Um, prostate health. And yeah, just like, I'll take, I'll take red maca powder. Like, I'll throw it in my smoothie or like uh, in a tea or something. Before I work out, after I work out. Just like, it's like an energy boost. Like, you're going to feel that energy boost. I think that's about all the... This stuff like that. Now I'm gonna show y'all the teas I drink. After that, I'm gonna show y'all like my hair stuff. But I right, got some dandelion root tea. Dandelion root tea is good. It's like a good blood cleanser. And for anybody who drink like coffee, and you trying to find like an organic, natural way to place replace it, dandelion root tea in the morning, like like wake your body up like. That energy boost, like it's not like one of them teas that put you to sleep. It's like something's like, all right, come on, time to get up. Like, I'll drink that. I'll drink a dandelion root tea before I even do my smoothie in the morning. Yeah, like that's like a natural, no caffeine, but you're trying to jump start your body. Dandelion root tea. The next we got some elderberry tea. Elderberry good for yo. Your digest no, your immune system. I'm about to say your digestion. For your immune system, elderberry just like a natural immunity booster, like that elderberry fruit, elderberry syrup. I got elderberry gummies down there, but I just ain't bring them up here because I don't really take the elderberry gummies. I usually just drink the tea. I ain't gonna lie to you, the tea is a little the flavor on it, you gotta kinda get used to it and the smell. That's why I got agave for. But yeah, next tea. Chamomile lavender. This is good for like. What's that thing when you're trying to go to melatonin? I think that's what it is. 
But chamomile lavender, that's like a good nighttime tea or somebody who got insomnia or anxiety or like you trying to calm yourself down before bed. Good chamomile tea. Then I got the ginger peach. Ginger good for like pain, headaches, uh, your your immune system, it's an immunity booster. Yeah, your digestive system. Oh, I ain't bringing this stuff, but like I do organic limes. Organic limes is alkaline, getting on the heavy metals. Oh, I'm sure. Get all them heavy metals out your body. And, uh, one more supplement. I forgot this one because I keep this one up here. Chlorella tablets. What do you say? Broken cell wall chlorella tablets. These detoxify your body, alkaline your body. You try to get the BS out. You take you take those. I take those on a daily basis with some water. That's all the tea and all the protein and stuff. All right. So boom. My skin. How I keep my skin clear. I showed y'all this before. I think, but black soap. Doodle -doo or something. You could get. You can find this black soap in like a hair store or something. Hold on. Do I got it up. Oh no, I got it right away. But yeah, what's in here? Palm kernel oil, coca pot ash, balm punch ash, shea butter water, pure honey, lime juice, a sun, aloe vera, lemon juice. Yeah. Oh, I think some herbs in there. Then, moisturizer. Boom, some shea butter. 100% African shea butter. All this stuff I'm showing y'all is 100% organic. Like, when I be telling, like, when I be saying I'm an African, like, I really mean that. Like, I'm. I don't mess around with the white people stuff. I mean, dang. I might have to cut that out. I don't mess around with the uh the non-melanated people stuff. But, yeah. For the moisturization, you... Shave, I mean, black soap. Black soap is really, like, going to kind of dry your skin out. Shave butter, you use the shave butter afterwards. Like, if you're just using black soap and using some kind of lotion, like, you're, gonna, you're not going to get the full benefits. Like, you're not going to feel like... Okay, my skin back moisturized like nah shea butter black soap like them two just go together so black yeah for the hair organic coconut hair oil scalp roots treatment moisture retention deep conditioner hair styling dandruff treatment splitting treatment body massage perfect for skin and nails hair growth and strength I'm just not getting into the whole hair thing but y'all see my hair hold on I'll see it coming. Yeah, anyway, that's how I keep my hair. Just rub some of that on my scalp at night time. I try to part it, all that. Oh, hand soap, some African black soap for the liquid hand soap. Keep that in the bathroom. And, uh, the last thing for my hair, fungus buster. Now, I don't think you could just find this anywhere. I forgot where to get this from, but... Cookie oil, jojoba oil, rosemary oil, eucalyptus oil, palm oil, tea tree oil. Program to promote hair growth, itching, splitting, and dandruff, thinning edges. Helps with bald spots, hair growth, itching, splitting, and dandruff. Oh, I just said that. But yeah, that's basically all the stuff I use. How I stay healthy as a vegan. How I keep my hair the way it is. How I keep my skin the way it is. How I like, you know, how I cut out all the... The, the Caucasian people products and replaced it with some organic African, just like something that's really meant for you, something that's really grown from the earth that's gonna make you feel good. Cause you get all them toxins out your body, then like you just you gonna see what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.